Now let's try an initial value problem where there's a unique solution to our equation and we have an initial condition. Let's suppose y prime is y times sine of x over y squared plus 1 and y of 0 is 1. And it's certainly a separable equation because we can separate the variables here and also we have the initial condition which means that we're only going to get one solution we'll be able to solve for any constants in the general solution. While separating the variables, we bring all the y's to the left, all of the x's to the right, and we get y squared plus 1 over y dy is sine x dx. Now integrating both sides, it's easier if we write y squared plus 1 as y plus 1 over y, and we get that the integral on the left is y squared over 2, plus the natural log of the absolute value of y. And of course, integrating on the right, we get minus cosine of x plus c. Now we use our initial value condition to find the value of c. Plugging in x equals 0 and y equals 1, we get 1 half plus the natural log of the absolute value of 1 equals minus cosine of 0 plus c. And of course, natural log of 1 is 0, so we have c minus 1 equals 1 half, or c equals 3 over 2 here. Thus, we have an equation in x and y for our solution y squared over 2 plus the natural log of the absolute value of y equals minus cosine x plus 3 over 2. And here, y is defined implicitly as a solution to this equation.